My name is Adrian Nellums. I'm a British mountain guide. I'm director of the International School of Mountaineering, which is ISM. I'm also technical director for the British Mountain Guides. So we're here today to talk about anchors and joining anchors together with a sling. And it's all part of the Lakeland Revival that's here in the Lake District over the summer months. So this week we're going to be looking at joining our two anchors together and equalising them with a sling. And the main reason for using a sling is that today I'm climbing with a less experienced person than myself. They're going to climb, they're going to second the pitch and I'm going to connect them to this anchor, make them safe and then I'm going to lead on this second pitch myself. So I'm going to equalise these two anchors together by using a sling. So I'm going to choose this first anchor, the one on the right there, it's a really good solid wire uh, placed in the downward pull into that sort of V-shaped crack, so that's nice and secure. I take a sling with a screw gate carabiner, just clip that into that first anchor, again spine against the rock and make sure that gate's done up nice and snug. Now in this instance with my anchors being slightly wider apart, to be able to do an overhand knot in the sling, um, I might need to extend that second anchor and the way I do that is just with a simple quick draw. And with this quick draw here I can clip the top of it like so, extend my quick draw and lengthen it and clip that in, end into my sling like so and that extends the sling now so that I can actually uh, make an overhand knot here at this end point to make a V and it also makes a really nice point for my second to clip themselves into. And with this stitching of the sling, move that up out of the way so it doesn't get in the way and from this position work out which is the direction of pull, where that person is climbing from, where that position is. Let's do an overhand knot in the sling to give us that nice central point. The sling is now equalised and as importantly they're independent. So if one uh, wire is to pull then the weight comes directly onto our other piece there and that gives us a nice secure central point there for us to clip into. And again, for us to clip into that, we take a screw gate carabiner, clip that into that loop there, and make a clove hitch into that screw gate carabiner, like so, nice and snug. Screw gate carabiner done up, and I can now adjust that to where I want to stand. Okay, so I'm nice and secure on this sort of central point here. And this, is, this point here is the point that when my partner comes up, I'm gonna get them to clip a screw gate carabiner in here and make them secure as well. Um, but let's do some final checks before I shout down I'm safe to my partner. I've got this screw gate here that's nice and secure. I've done up this screw gate here. I've checked that my snap link carabiners are away from the rock or the spines are not touching the rock and everything's fine and I'm nice and secure on my anchors like so. Last week we talked about using the rope and obviously when you're using a rope you're connected into the system, you're, you've joined yourself to these anchors so it's very difficult for you to then move away and climb a second pitch. The idea of using the slings here is that when my second comes up and clips themselves in we can turn the ropes, he can then put me on belay again, I can unclip and I can very easily climb the next pitch without dismantling any of the anchors. So this second method of joining together two anchors with our sling and it's a method where the sling isn't quite long enough and you need to maximise the length of that sling. So rather than doing an overhand knot this time, you just do a simple overhand knot but within the sling. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So if we join in our two anchors together, we're using a sling. We can clip our sling to this first anchor with a screw gate carabiner. Make sure that screw gate carabiner, the spine of it is against the rock and the gate is done up. The other end of the sling we need to attach to our second anchor there. I'm just going to use a simple screw gate carabiner into that anchor, turn the carabiner around again. I'm always conscious of the spine of the carabiner rather than the gate against the rock. Clip the sling into that point and do the gate up. Now we talked about doing an overhand knot, um, but here there's not enough space to do an overhand knot in our sling. So we can adopt this sort of second system where you do a simple overhand knot, but it's onto the sling directly like so. And we can now clip the end of our sling into the screw gate carabiner, do the gate up nice and snug. And now we can move that knot around 
either leftwards or rightwards so we get the pull correctly onto our person climbing and we can clip into each of those independently. So we've got our overhand knot just in the middle of our sling directly where we want the pull and with a screw gate carabiner we can clip into this first loop and then we can clip into this second loop that we've created. We can turn the screw gate carabiner around and that's that central point now connected and our anchors are independent and they're equalized. And this is a system as if the sling is just a little bit too short for the wide anchor placements that you've got. So that's connecting our two anchors up by using a sling. Um, this method I've just shown you here, which is when you haven't got too much sling to use and you're trying to maximize the length of that sling, or when the sling is long enough, just using a simple overhand knot to create a, a really nice central loop there that you and your partner can clip into. Um, and next week we're gonna be talking about direct belays and using a guide plate. Thanks for that, Adrian. If you haven't watched part one yet, make sure you catch up on that, and the link is in the description below. He goes through equalizing a belay using ropes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.